channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. I'm having a fantastic week. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> In today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, we're going to look at how you plan your trip. Mm -hmm. Or your summer vacation, of course. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. So today, I'm going to talk about how to plan your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Things you need to think about are how much money you want to spend, where you want to go, mm-hmm, and what you want to do. Yes. <laughs> Mm hmm Are you thinking of a beach vacation? Where you stay in a beach house on the beach? Are you thinking of going to your favorite amusement park? Or water park? <laughs> or theme park? Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to stay close to home. You know, find a, a nice beach in your local area. Mm-hmm. These are all things that you want to think about when you're planning your vacation. Mm hmm Where you want to go, what you want to do, yes, and how much money you want to spend. Mm hmm <laughs> Yes. These are all things to think about when you're planning out your summer vacation. Mm hmm Because after all, you're going to be making memories on this vacation. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. Summer vacations are so much fun, especially when you plan where you're going, what you want to do, and how much money you want to spend. Mm-hmm. It all depends on what kind of summer vacation you want to have. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go somewhere sunny? Yeah. Do you want to maybe go on a cruise? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, these are all things to think about when you're planning out your summer vacation. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Like I said, whether you're, if you're staying in a, um, a house, a hotel, maybe an RV, if you're planning on doing a road trip, yeah. <laughs> like I said. These are all things to think about when you're planning out your summer vacation. Yes. These are all important steps that you need to think about when you're planning out your vacation during the summer. <laughs> yes. It's the memories that count, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. You want to have those great memories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, I can't agree more. We're going to go over all of these in the next clip. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so now, <laughs> we're going to take an even better look at how to plan your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. What you want to do, where you want to go, and how much money you want to spend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So now that we've had a look at that, now we're going to take a look at what you want to do and where you want to go on your vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Some people like to go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Some people like to go <laughs> to theme parks, water parks, amusement parks in different cities around the world. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or maybe you want to go see a different country and what they have to, um, to offer. <laughs> mm-hmm. And learn about history of those places. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and... 
you're going to take a look at, you know, things like where you're going to sleep at night. Is it going to be a hotel? Is it going to be a house? Are you going to want to rent an RV? Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Or do you want to go camping? Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Things to think about and do and see on your summer vacation. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. I have to agree. The memories you're going to make are very important. Mm hmm. Now, a lot of you are going to be looking online at the different options for summer vacations. Some of you <laughs> may already know what you want to do for a summer vacation. Yes. <laughs> so, you thought about where you want to go. Mm hmm. Yes, a destination is key. But what do you want to do in that location? Mm hmm. Like I said, <laughs> you're going to have fun in that location, so you want to, you know, make sure it's all planned out. Or maybe you don't even have a plan. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, you just want to see the sights and hear the sounds and see everything. <laughs> That your destination has. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Some people just like to relax on vacation. That's fine too. Mm hmm. Yes. But when you're planning out your summer vacation, what I've said today in my video <laughs> will really help you out when it comes to, you know, planning out your summer vacation. Mm hmm. Yes, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where you're going to stay and what you're going to do on your summer vacation are two important ingredients to a great summer vacation. Yes, but of course, how much money you want to spend? After all, you're going to be buying things like t-shirts and keychains. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, just to name a few things, of course. <laughs> but if you're going to be doing some shopping, you want to make sure that you have um, the money to spend. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Having a great budget on your vacation will help you out, especially during the summer. Mm-hmm. If you want to eat at a restaurant or if you want to get groceries and bring them back to where you're staying, or you want to buy, you know, things from the store. <laughs> things to remind you of where you've been on your summer vacation. Yes, these are all things to think about when you're planning your summer vacation. <laughs> I hope all these have inspired you all. <laughs> I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. Well, I've had a great time with you all today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talking about planning a summer vacation with you all. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. Summer vacations are meant to be fun. Mm-hmm. After all, you're creating memories that your kids can share with their kids. Mm-hmm. Someday. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> stay tuned for the next episode. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where I'll talk about how to get to your destination. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> if you're here, welcome. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely, and don't forget to enjoy life. <laughs> and I'll see you on the weekend with another great video. Until then, so long. Bye. 
Hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. I'm having a fantastic week so far. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn on this notification bell so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> yes, in today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, we're going to take a look at how you get to your vacation. So, without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so now, <laughs> we're going to take a look at how to get to your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Your vacation is all set to go, and it's time to get there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Getting there is half the fun, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Are you going by train? Are you going by plane? Are you going by car? By bus? All of these things we're going to take a look at today. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. These are all fun ways to get to your vacation. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, these are all things to think about when it comes to your summer vacation, right? Yes. <laughs> if you're going with your family or are you going on your own? These are all things to think about. The different ways to get to your destination. <laughs> Some people will take a plane. Some people will take a train. Maybe a bus. <laughs> or, if you're doing a family road trip, you're going to take a car. Mm-hmm. Yes. And if you're going to a destination where you have to cross the water, <laughs> get on a ferry boat. Mm-hmm. Yes. These are all things to think about when you're planning your summer vacation. If you're going really far... Or if you're just staying nearby. Mm-hmm. Yes. Having a summer vacation is really fun. So, you want to feel good about how you get there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. I have to agree. All these fun modes of transportation. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And... You can have a lot of fun getting there, making memories, enjoying time with family and friends. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. No matter if you're going on a plane or a train or a bus or a car, mm hmm. You're going to have loads of fun getting there. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. These are just some things to think about when you're planning your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, today, we're talking about how to get to your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. And all of these forms of transportation will really help you out. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the next clip, I'm going to go over each of these forms of transportation. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> so now we're going to take a look at the different forms of transportation to help you get to your summer vacation. <laughs> mm -hmm. The first one is a plane. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can travel by air to your destination. If you're going to a different country or... A different city within that country. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Getting there by airplane is fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Especially nowadays when you can listen to music and watch movies. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't been on an airplane in a long time, but... They can be fun. 
Yes. Like I said, you can listen to music and watch your favorite movie if you want to. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes. And you can see different types of people on airplanes, too. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> so if you're flying to your destination, have fun while getting there. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. You and your kids can do different things. Mm hmm. <laughs> On an airplane, like listen to music and watch a movie. <laughs> yes. So that's traveling by air. Let's take a look at traveling by train. Mm hmm. Yes. Some people like to take the train to go see other places and go on a summer vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I have to agree. Traveling by train can be just as fun. Mm-hmm. And make sure that you have um, some things to entertain your kids with when it comes to trains. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe have some coloring books, or, if, you know, your kids like to play with dolls, or cars. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they can look out the window and see the scenery. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure that they're entertained. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. A traveling by train can be really fun, too. Yes. It doesn't matter where you're going, by train. You just want to have fun getting there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I have to agree. Now, I've never traveled by train. But I think it would be fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Just another way of getting to your summer vacation, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now... Let's take a look at another one. Yes. Traveling by bus. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have uh, families that have a lot of family members. So they might take their own their own bus to their family vacation, right? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And... What applies on trains for keeping everybody entertained applies here, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Getting to your summer vacation can be just as fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if you're traveling by bus with a lot of family members, it can be just as fun. Keeping the kids entertained. Keeping you entertained. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like to listen to music, maybe a good audiobook. <laughs> maybe the kids will color. Maybe they'll have a snack. You want to have some snacks on hand. And maybe you'll have some water on hand, too. Yes. <laughs> mm hmm These are things to think about when you're heading out on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, if you're traveling by bus, that can be fun too. <laughs> now, let's take a look at our next one. A road trip by car. Mm-hmm. Yes. And what applies to trains and buses can be applied here as well. Mm-hmm. If you're traveling with a lot of family members. Yes. In the car, you want to keep the kids entertained because it's going to be a long car journey where you're going, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Or it could be just a, you know, short car journey, too. But on longer road trips, you want to make sure that everyone in the vehicle is entertained. Mm-hmm. For the kids, it could be coloring books and, and uh, audio books or... They could listen to music, play with their toys. Mm hmm. Yes. Or maybe look out the window at the scenery. <laughs> mm hmm. 
Yes. These are all things to think about when you're going on your summer vacation, right? And if you're really lucky, you're going to take a ferry journey. Mm-hmm. Yes. Depending on what type of ferry boat it is, you can get out of your car and go upstairs to where they have the cafeteria and, you know, maybe the gift shop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I have to agree. But like I said, it depends on what type of ferry it is. If it's an open car ferry, you just stay in your car. But most of the time, 99% <laughs> uh, of the time, <laughs> you're going to get out of your car and you're going to go up to where, um, you know, you can sit inside or outside, maybe enjoy something to eat in the cafeteria, go to the gift shop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, and depending on how long your fairy journey is, you can watch a movie. Yeah, maybe the fairy boat has a movie feeder. <laughs> you never know, right? But how you get to your summer vacation is really, really important. Mm-hmm. Yes, I couldn't agree more when it comes to getting to your summer vacation. <laughs> So, my advice to you is this. Have fun traveling to your summer vacation destination. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a lot of fun just getting there, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's the experience and the memories that you're going to make. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. Well... <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with you all today. Mm hmm. Talking about the different forms of transportation. Yes. <laughs> when it comes to traveling to your summer vacation destination. In next week's episode, we're going to talk about what you need to take with you on that summer vacation. Mm hmm. So stay tuned for that. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy life. And I'll see you guys on the weekend with another great video. And then I'll be back with next week's episode. <laughs> of my summer vacation tips series. Until then, so long. Bye. Hello everyone. And welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment and share. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> yes. So, are you ready for another great episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So, without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? Today we're going to be talking about packing to go on your summer vacation. <laughs> yes. So, without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> So, <laughs> now that we've booked our trip and our transportation to our summer vacation, it's time to think about packing our bags. Mm hmm And all the things that you're going to need to take with you <laughs> on your summer vacation. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can use all kinds of bags, suitcases, briefcases, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, backpacks, duffel bags, 
Mm hmm Yes, just to name a few. <laughs> but the choices are up to you. Mm hmm And nowadays, bags have wheels on them. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. <laughs> Packing can be fun. And you can make it fun for the kids, too. Yeah. <laughs> So that is what we're talking about today. Packing up for your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So like I said, you've planned out your trip and how you're going to get there. Now it's time to pack everything that you're going to need. Mm-hmm. Yes. And depending on where you're going, you're going to need a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> yes. We're going to get into all of that in today's video. <laughs> yes. I have to agree. Packing can be fun. And you want to think about all the things that you're going to need when it comes to packing up, right? <laughs> for your summer vacation. Because you're going to be away for a while. And you want to make sure that you have every single thing that you're going to need. Mm -hmm. If you're staying in a house... You're going to need clothing and food and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> yes. And depending on where else you're going to be staying, too, you're going to need those things. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you want to stay organized, too, when you're packing. Mm-hmm. You might have one bag for your medication. You might have another bag for your clothes. Um, you might have another bag for toys and coloring books and things for the kids to do, right? <laughs> mm hmm And staying organized can be just as fun when you're packing up for your summer vacation, right? Because after all, you want to have fun on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. And like I said, depending on where you're going, you're going to need a lot of things to bring with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And depending on how many family members you're traveling with, too, you're going to need a lot of suitcases and bags. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the next clip, we're going to go over all of these things that you're going to find inside of your bags. Mm-hmm. So, I'll be right back with that. See you in a minute. <laughs> So now, we're going to take a look at what you put in to your bags to travel with you when it comes to summer vacation. <laughs> yes. So, you're going to need everything from clothing to food to maybe some board games for the kids. Mm -hmm. If you're traveling with kids. <laughs> Coloring books for them, too. Mm hmm Yes. Or maybe some things for them to play with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just one example. <laughs> yes. Like I said earlier, you're going to need bags for all kinds of things to stay organized. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you're going to need a bag for food. You're going to need a bag for your medication, a bag for your clothing. And if you're bringing any extra stuff, you're going to need a bag for that, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the kids can have their own bags. Mm-hmm. With their clothing and their favorite toys or coloring books <laughs> or books if they like to read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are all things they can do while they travel or on summer vacation, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. But these are things to think about to put into your bag. Yes. And if you're traveling to another country, you're going to need to think about paperwork, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. You need to have 
the right paperwork. Mm -hmm. If you're going to another country, your summer vacation, of course. These are all things to think about when it comes to packing up for your summer vacation. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you booked your trip and your travel. And now you're going to pack your bags. Mm -hmm. First things you want to think about are what type of clothing are you going to need for your summer vacation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Are you going to need um, like bathing suits and, and summer clothes to put into your suitcase? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. You're going to need all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially when it comes to packing up for your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. And just in case the summer nights are a little cooler, bring some warm clothing. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're going to go to a drive-in movie feeder. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I have to agree. Yes. Now, if you're bringing food along, you want to think about a cooler bag to put your food in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Especially if you're traveling by car or by train. <laughs> yes. You can also get your groceries when you get there. Mm-hmm. I have to agree. Yes. Mm hmm. <laughs> now, when it comes to your food, you want to make sure that it has a nice, cool bag to be in. After all, you want to have some great food. <laughs> yes. You want to think of snack foods, too, that the kids can snack on while they're traveling to summer vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, for the kids, when it comes to things like toys and games and books and maybe a special um, item that they, you know, go to bed with, these also need to be packed up. Mm hmm Yes. I have to agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you want you and your kids to be happy on your summer vacation because you're going to be spending a lot of time making a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to the beach, you're going to need a bag for your beach things. Mm -hmm. There's lots of options for beach bags too that are out there. Yeah, these are all things to think about when you're packing up for your summer vacation and getting ready to head out the door <laughs> to go have some fun in the sun for the summertime. Yes. Mm-hmm. And staying organized is another key tip when it comes to packing up. Mm-hmm. You want everything to be in order and the right paperwork <laughs> too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Make sure you have everything that you need for a great summer vacation. And I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. See you in a minute. Well, I've had a great day with you all. Mm hmm Talking about packing up for your summer vacation. Yes. <laughs> I hope that all these tips so far are helping you out your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the next episode, we'll talk about going on a road trip in the car to get to your summer vacation. Mm hmm. <laughs> and what you should do in the car, especially if you have kids, right? And you too. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, if you're new here, welcome. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. 
And don't forget to enjoy life. Yes. So, so long, everyone. See you on the weekend. So long. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. I'm having a fantastic week. Mm-hmm. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. We have a lot to get to today. So, without further ado, let's get busy with today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series. See you in a minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've booked our vacation. We planned our travel. We've packed our bags. And now, it is time to go on a road trip. Mm-hmm. If that's how you're traveling to your summer vacation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, a road trip is when you take a car or a bus. Mm-hmm. Or maybe an RV. Yeah. <laughs> Mm hmm In today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, I'm going to take a look at the road trip. Mm hmm And what everyone can do to keep themselves busy while they're traveling to their destination. Mm hmm Yes. Mm hmm <laughs> You can go on a really long road trip, or you can go on a shorter road trip. Mm-hmm. Yes. But getting to your destination is just half of the fun, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I said, you can travel by car or bus or RV. Yeah. <laughs> Are you traveling far? Or maybe you're just traveling a couple hours up the road. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. But in today's episode, we're going to look at what a road trip entails. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And some things that you and your family can do along the way. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe some fun things to do. Yeah, if you have to stop and, you know, take a break from driving, maybe you want to stop at a fun place like a zoo or or maybe a coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you see something cool on the road that you want to know more about. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've done a lot of road trips over the years, so a lot of these tips I'm sharing with you today are from my experiences. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you want to be prepared for a road trip. Mm-hmm. Especially on your vacation. You want to make sure that you have all your right uh, travel documents. You want to make sure you have all your medications. If you're bringing food, you want to make sure you have food. <laughs> yes, these are all important things that, you know, makes planning for a road trip mm -hmm. just as cool as going on the road trip. Yes, are you planning to stop somewhere special, like a zoo or maybe a park? <laughs> or are you just driving through um, a different towns along the way? These are all things to think about, right? When you're going on a road trip. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> For everyone in your family, you can find something special. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and if you're stopping at a gas station, or nowadays, a electric car charging station, yeah. Maybe they have like a little convenience store. Your kids can get uh, candy bars and all the good snack foods from. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
like I said, I speak from experience when I give you all these tips and ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I have to agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody in the vehicle loves a road trip. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can have so much fun just getting to your vacation destination in the summertime as you can on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you've planned out your road trip now, right? <laughs> and it's time to get going. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you packed all the important things that you need. And now it's time to go on that road trip. Mm-hmm. But before you go, you want to make sure that your vehicle that you're going to be traveling in is ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yes. You need to take your vehicle to a garage for a nice checkup. Mm-hmm. Or, as they say on one of my favorite driving channels on YouTube, a pre-trip inspection. Mm-hmm. Yes. And make sure everything is detailed and in working order. After all, you wouldn't want to be on the road and it be nighttime and all your lights don't work. <laughs> yeah. You just want to make sure that everything's in working order. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Make sure your tires are good to go. Yeah. Make sure that you're ready to go on a long road trip. Mm-hmm. Or maybe a shorter one. <laughs> yes. But a pre-trip inspection on your vehicle is a must, I believe, when it comes to a great road trip. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't want to break down somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That you're not familiar with. Mm-hmm. Yes. So having that done before you go on a road trip is... A great tip for those of you going on a road trip. Mm-hmm. Don't leave anything to do with your vehicle to the last minute. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I have to agree. Getting ready for the road trip is just as fun as going. Mm-hmm. You are excited. The kids are excited. Yeah. <laughs> In the next clip, I will take a look at some things that the people can do on a road trip. Mm hmm So, stay tuned for that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> See you in a minute. So now, we're going to take a look <laughs> at things to do in the car, or the vehicle that you're going to be using to go on your road trip. Mm-hmm. Yes. These are some tips for adults and kids. Yeah, and everyone everyone in between. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Things to do. Mm-hmm. You can listen to audiobooks or music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And the kids can read along with the audiobook in their books. Mm hmm Or they can listen to uh, music on their iPods, their iPads, their tablets. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> These are things that the kids can do while you are driving and your passenger is helping you with finding your next location, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. have to agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the adults can do this too. <laughs> yes. Listening to the audiobook, of course, while they're driving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. But for the kids, things they can do, they can maybe sight see along the way where 
they try and guess, you know, where they are, or maybe count the trees as they go by, or ask questions about the town they're going through. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> maybe they can play games. Mm-hmm. Yes. For some kids, they bring their Barbies along. Mm-hmm. To play with. Yes. These are all great things that can be done while on a road trip. Yes. Or maybe you stop and explore the community you're going through. Or <laughs> nowadays, you can just look that up on your iPhone or iPad or iPod. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But when you're going on a road trip, all of these things can be fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the adults, you know, can chat to each other while the kids are doing these activities in the back seat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. You're going to have lots of fun. And you want to stay safe on road trips, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. So? <laughs> Put on those seatbelts. Get ready for a great road trip. Mm-hmm. And I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. See you in a minute. Well, <laughs> I've had a great time with you all today. Mm-hmm. Talking about road trips. Yeah. And things you can do on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. In next week's episode, we'll go over where you're staying once you arrive at your destination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. But well, I really hope that everyone enjoyed today's video, too. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And don't forget to enjoy life. <laughs> and live your best life. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the weekend with another great video. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be back with the next episode of my Summer Vacation Tip Series. Yeah. <laughs> so long. Bye. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. I am. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. So, let's get ready for another episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series. Mm-hmm. Yes. So without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so, in today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, we're going to take a look at where you're going to be staying on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> now, we book everything that we need for a vacation so far. Now that you have arrived at your destination, we're going to take a look at some options for where you're going to stay. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> we're going to take a look at two of the most common ones these days which are hotels and Airbnbs. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, when you're staying at a hotel, you're, you're staying, you know, in a nice place, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Now, in a hotel, you only get, you know, maybe a room with a couple of beds, a bathroom, maybe a closet, depending on where you're staying. 
Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> so, in this clip, I'm going to focus on hotels. Mm hmm Yes. Things to think about when you have planned your vacation is, are you staying at a hotel? Are you staying at an Airbnb? <laughs> yes. Staying in a hotel can be fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And believe me, I've stayed at some nice places over the years. Yeah. <laughs> when you check in, you're checking in at the front desk or front counter. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and believe me, you want to make a good first impression with your hotel lobby. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, of course, you want everything to be clean. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you get your room key and you check into your room. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when you get to your room and you open the door, you're going to be, you know, like, wow, this is a cool room. <laughs> yes. Some hotels are so cool, they even have a balcony off of their rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you get to experience that too, right? <laughs> ah, yes. Mm-hmm. In the hotel room, depending on where you're staying, you'll find a couple of beds, a TV, some dressers, <laughs> mm -hmm. a table and a couple chairs, yeah, some nightstands, and it'll have a bathroom too. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of people say staying in hotels, you know, place to lay down at night while, you know, you spend your day outside of the hotel going to do what it is that you're doing on vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe you're going to a theme park or maybe you're going to explore the city or country that you're in. Yeah. <laughs> Staying at a hotel can be fun. Yes. And knowing the adventures that you're going to have or maybe you just want to stay in and go to the pool at the hotel and go swimming. Yeah. Or maybe you want to go out <laughs> into the city, your country. Yeah. To explore where you're staying. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because learning about the place you're staying in can be just as fun as where you're staying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to agree, there's a whole lot of fun on vacation, yes, if you have booked a hotel room, <laughs> mm -hmm. or maybe you need a couple rooms, depending on the size of your family, right? Mm -hmm. Now, some hotel rooms and hotels can be really fancy. Mm -hmm. Like the hotel I stayed at in Los Angeles, for example. That was right up there with Hollywood glamour. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. And the outdoor pool was really fun to swim in. Mm-hmm. The water was a perfect temperature. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe the hotel I stayed in in Toronto where the pool was half inside and half out. Yes. On the outside pool, or should I say in the outside pool, <laughs> the water was heated. Yeah. <laughs> so what was under the water stayed warm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Just some examples of fancy places, right? <laughs> You could stay somewhere for, you know, a different experience, too, in hotels. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for something simple, there's something nice. 
Yes. These are just some ideas. Mm-hmm. In the next clip, we'll go over the other type of place to stay nowadays. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, I'll be right back with that. I'll see you in a minute. So, <laughs> another type of place to stay when you're on your summer vacation is staying in a house. Mm-hmm. Yes. One of the most popular ways is an Airbnb, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Now, you're renting a home for, you know, maybe a week or a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, with that, you get, most of the time, you get a whole house to yourself where you have a kitchen, dining area, living room, bedrooms, bathroom, all to yourself. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you may have to share your Airbnb with somebody else. Yes. But for 90% of the time, you get the home to yourself. Mm-hmm. And your family, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. I've stayed in some pretty nice homes over the years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. We've had some great experiences with, you know, these homes. <laughs> and the hosts of these homes have been very nice. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. But staying in a home is just as fun as staying in a hotel. Except with a home that you have to yourself, you know? It's just you and your family and maybe some visitors that you want to have come by. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I said, I've seen some great homes over the years to stay in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they all leave me feeling inspired. Yes, when it comes to interior design, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. But when you stay in a home that's all to yourself, it can be some great fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. It all depends on where you're traveling to, of course. Whether you want to stay in a hotel or stay in a house. Yeah. <laughs> now, staying at home, you get everything that you probably would get at home but you have to buy your own groceries and yeah <laughs> mm-hmm now sometimes the person who owns the home that you're uh, staying in will put things in the or food in the refrigerator it just depends on who you're staying with mm-hmm <laughs> But you still have to buy your own groceries and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the one benefit of staying in a home that you might not get in a hotel room is you can make your own food. Yeah. Or if you want to go out to a restaurant, that's fine, too. Or maybe get takeout. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Of course, you're going to have a lot of fun. So, where you're staying <laughs> can be a lot of fun, too. You might want to go exploring the place you're staying in, right? Or just stay in and enjoy, you know, everything that the home that you're staying in for your summer vacation has to offer you. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> That is that. Mm-hmm. And I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. See you in a minute. So, 
out. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with you all today talking about places to stay on your summer vacation. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. And sharing some of my experiences as well and tips throughout this series. Mm hmm. On next week's episode, I'm going to talk about things to do on your summer vacation. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. So, if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And I'll see you on the weekend with another great video. So long. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. <laughs> I am. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> In today's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, we're going to start looking at things to do on your vacation. Mm-hmm. So without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so, now it's time to talk about things to do <laughs> on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> you've arrived at your destination. And you've chosen to stay in a house. Here are some things to think about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Did you bring your groceries with you from home? Or did you go grocery shopping before um, you arrived at your home that you're going to be staying in for your summer vacation? <laughs> yes. Have you planned out a menu for the week or two that you're staying there? Or are you just keeping it simple? <laughs> yes. When it comes to making food or buying food, the choices are endless. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. And sometimes you can go out to dinner, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whether you're going to a theme park or a water park or maybe you're just going to stay in and do some activities at the place you're staying at. <laughs> yes. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. Mm-hmm. Yes. These are just some things to think about when you arrive at your destination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And things to do, too, like, you know, getting the place all set up to the way that you like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, because you want to be comfortable when you're staying at your vacation destination. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. And when you first arrive, you want to make sure that you get to know the whole, like, where all the rooms are, bathrooms, bedrooms, the kitchen, the dining area, the living room. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get to know the spaces that you're going to be living in for however long you're going to be staying. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you want to make it feel like a little bit like home. So maybe you want to have your favorite foods or maybe... Uh, Favorite book from home? Yes. <laughs> you want to be comfortable in the home, right? <laughs> and like I said, when it comes to your meals, you know, just to keep it simple or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or... 
maybe you want to do something a little bit more fancy when it comes to your meals. Yeah. However you feel that day. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have to agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. And maybe when you go buy your groceries, you're going to need some other things, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're comfortable in the place you're staying. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the next clip, I'm going to start telling you about things that you can do on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, without further ado, let's get busy with that. And I'll be right back. <laughs> things to do, part one. Going shopping. Mm hmm Yes. On your summer vacation, shopping can be fun. Mm hmm Doesn't matter if you're an adult or if you're a kid. Yes. Mm hmm Something for the whole family. <laughs> when it comes to shopping. Mm hmm For example, you can buy clothing, games, toys... Mm hmm Maybe some computer games or some CDs. Audiobooks, too. Mm hmm Yes. Keychains. Mm hmm Maybe you're looking for something that reminds you of where you're staying. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. You can go to gift shops. You can go to stores. You can go to malls, if they have malls where you're staying. Mm-hmm. Yes. Shopping malls, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. In shopping malls, there's all kinds of stores you can go to. A variety of everything you can think of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But when it comes to shopping, you want to have fun. But make sure that you have your finances in order to go shopping, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. You want to make sure that you have enough money to go shopping. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you really want to enjoy everything that you purchased. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe you purchase, you know, some food items, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. But shopping on your summer vacation can be really fun because you're picking up things that remind you of where you're staying on your summer vacation. <laughs> yes. Now, I love shopping. Mm-hmm. And so does my mom. Yes. We both love to shop. <laughs> Especially on our vacations. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have to agree. <laughs> and we find some really cool stuff that reminds us, mm-hmm, of where we've been. And you can do the same thing. When you go shopping on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So, make sure you have a lot of fun on your summer vacation. Especially when it comes to shopping. And I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. See you in a minute. Well, that wraps up today's <laughs> episode of my summer vacation tips series. Mm-hmm. Yes. In next week's episode of my Summer Vacation Tips series, we're going to continue talking about things to do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Part two. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Please and thank you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. I 
if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. <laughs> Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy life. Yes, I'm always enjoying life. And you should, too. <laughs> so, don't forget to enjoy life, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, everyone. And welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. I am. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. We have a lot to get to today. So without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? See you guys in a minute. <laughs> on today's episode of my Summer Vacation tip series, we're going to look at things to do around the home that you're staying in. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to give you tips for a sunny day and a rainy day. Yes. Mm-hmm. So get ready for part two of things to do on your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Here are some tips for a sunny day. So the weather is nice outside. Mm-hmm. And if you're lucky enough to be renting a home with a pool, yes, go enjoy spending some time swimming in the swimming pool and entertaining the people that you're staying with. <laughs> Yes. You know, kids can be in the pool swimming. The adults can be sitting around the pool or in the pool with the kids. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can play some outdoor games like soccer, volleyball, baseball, football. Mm-hmm. Yes. Basketball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're going to barbecue some summertime food, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I said, outdoor entertainment can be so much fun on a sunny day. The opportunities and options are endless. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you're staying uh, that has a pool, staying somewhere that has a pool, but also has a lake, maybe you'll go boating on the lake. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Please do all these activities responsibly, though, I have to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe some of you will swim in the lake. Yeah. Or do some water sports and water activities. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the options for great sun-filled summer day on your summer vacation are endless mm -hmm. with things to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're going to sit out on your deck and chat with the people you're staying with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Maybe you're just going to sit and read a book. You know? Doing things outdoors on a sunny day on your summer vacation it's really cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. And like I said, you're being entertained outside on a sunny summer day on your summer vacation. Yes. <laughs> so all those great tips and things to do on a sunny day on your summer vacation can help you out when you're planning your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. And these tips also apply to if you're staying in a hotel, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> it depends on where you're staying, right? Mm-hmm. But all of these tips and ideas can really help you out. So, that's for a sunny day. In the next clip, I'm going to go over things to do on a rainy day on your summer vacation. I'll be right back. <laughs> See you in a minute. Now, let's take a look at things to do on your summer vacation on a rainy day. Mm hmm So you're staying in a nice place, but it's a rainy day. Mm hmm 
in the home that you're renting, of course. <laughs> so, it's raining outside, and you can't really go outside to, to play in the pool or do anything outside, right? <laughs> yes. So, it's more of an indoor day. Mm-hmm. On a rainy day. Yeah. Kids and parents alike, you guys can get in the kitchen and bake. All your favorite summertime treats. Mm-hmm. Cookies and pies and cheesecakes. Or cakes. Maybe somebody's celebrating a birthday while on summer vacation, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. You can make them a birthday cake. Yes. Or maybe you're making a special supper. Or a special meal. Mm-hmm. You can spend time in the kitchen doing that, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. The possibilities are endless in the kitchen. <laughs> so get creative. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want to spend your time in the kitchen, something else you can do is play some board games. Maybe some cards. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe watch some TV. Kids can play with their toys. Mm hmm. Or maybe they want to play some board games. Maybe they can put on a, um, a little play. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can sing songs together. Mm hmm. Yes. Being on a inside on a rainy day. It will never be boring on your summer vacation when you find things to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Maybe your kids are into reading on a rainy day. Or maybe they're not, you know? Possibilities are endless. Mm-hmm. Maybe they want to watch a really good kids movie. Mm-hmm. And of course, once the kids are in bed, adults can watch their favorites, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. On rainy days, you want to stay inside, right? Mm-hmm. So baking in the kitchen or playing board games, cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Spending the day as a family or the people you're staying with. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the activity is, as long as you're having fun, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe watching TV together, or listening to a favorite song, or maybe listening to a podcast, or an e-book, <laughs> or an audiobook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe some board games. Now, kids nowadays have iPads and iPods and tablets. Mm-hmm. So maybe they can do things on those as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back in my day, we had toys and board games and... Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> But nowadays, there's more options for kids when it comes to things to do. Mm-hmm. And adults, too. Yeah. <laughs> there's something for everyone on your summer vacation, right? <laughs> yes. So, those are some things to do on a rainy day. And I'll be right back to wrap up today's video. <laughs> See you in a minute. Well, I've had a great time with you all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talking about things to do on both a sunny and a rainy day on your summer vacation. Yes. On next week's episode of my summer vacation tips series, I'm going to go over a cruise ship vacation for your summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I have to agree, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yes. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from Yours Truly. <laughs> Please follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And don't forget to enjoy life, everyone. <laughs> yes. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye. probably wondering why I'm sitting here with all these Barbies. Well, today is the day of the Barbie movie premiere. So I am wearing, <laughs> I am wearing a pink shirt in honor of Barbie and the movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. I have to agree. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of Barbie, Mm hmm And you love your Barbies. Celebrate the premiere of the new Barbie movie. Yes. So, that's what's happening today and how I am celebrating the release of the new movie, Barbie. So, that's it for now. <laughs>